Hey, so the plan today was to show off some VR stuff. Because as I said previously, modern VR is amazing. I wanted to show some development stuff, but I've had nothing but computer problems all day. So, I think maybe I'll just go through some of the options for the Unreal Editor in VR, which, again, is incredible. Let's get to it. So as you can see here, we're in an empty map. Let's just bring this up. Let's go to Modes. Let's go to Landscape. Let's create a new landscape. Uh, let's make it uh, 31 by 31. Uh, let's create that. It'll show up underneath our feet here. Looking pretty good. All right, let's go to our sculpting and let's just start uh, painting some hills here. Let's zoom out, make the world small so it's like we're looking at a tabletop version of our map. And we can just start painting some hills, some mountains, right on this landscape. Nice and easy. Let's take this one little corner of the map over here. Let's just teleport right down there. All right. Nice little area here. Let's close that. Let's open up a content browser. Let's take this tree, little bush, just shove it right down into the world. It's pretty cool. Let's just make a duplicate of that. Just drag it out. We can make a bunch of these. Just wherever you want them. Let's grab the tree. Let's just take this big tree here, pop it right down onto the ground. That's a pretty big tree. So let's zoom out some. Let's just take that and sink it down into the ground some. Let's make some duplicates of that tree. We can just make some happy little trees here. Make Bob Ross proud. Just a bunch of trees. Now let's just grab a rock and put it down here in the world. Alright, that's pretty good. Let's sink it down in there. Let's do the same thing. Let's just grab a bunch of these and put them all over the place. See, very rapidly, we can just place objects. We'll go to our gizmo here. Let's set it to rotate. Let's grab this rock and let's just turn it around. Let's take the same rock and let's just scale it so it's big. So it's nice and big. Let's expand it out that way, expand it out this way. Make it nice and tall. That's a big rock. All right, let's take this big rock. Put it to transform. Let's just put it over here. Let's go back down to player scale. And that is a very, very large rock. It's a cliff face pretty much now. Let's just gr grab that. over here. Let's grab it and make another one. Let's zoom out. Let's rotate our world. We can just grab this rock. And let's just make it like our player is going to be in a canyon of some kind with a bunch of rocks. And we'll just skip through when I'm done with this part. Alright, so here we go. This looks okay. It's repetitive, of course, but such is the nature of using only one pack from the marketplace. And if we look here at player scale, this doesn't look too bad. And it's something you can accomplish very quickly in VR.
if I had the foliage painter set up, we could even paint down some grass or put in some buildings if I had anything that could snap together nicely. But this is pretty good for a few minutes of work in VR. It's very beta-ish, as I said in another video, at best. But it's very clear to me that in the future, this is going to be a game changer. Thanks for watching.